when I say Muslims, by definition, a Muslim is a person who follows Islam. Within Islam, in order to be a Muslim, you follow the Quran, words of Allah, to the letter. Let's give an example. I will read to make sure I don't miss any meanings of it. In Quran, chapter 16, verse 89 says, and mention the day when we will resurrect among every nation a witness over them from themselves. And we will bring you, O Muhammad, the prophet of Islam, as a witness over your nation. And we have sent down to you the book, Quran, as clarification for all things and as guidance and mercy and good tidings for the Muslims. Let me quickly simplify this verse. The day of the, the last day and the uh, word will come when it's here. Allah is going to bring in a witness for every nation. Muhammad will be the witness of the Muslim nation, all Muslims. And he will witness and testify to whom followed the Quran, the book that is clarification for all things and it's guidance for anything and everything a Muslim should or should not do. That one verse, chapter 16, verse 89, is the reason that within Islam, as a Muslim, you are supposed to or you are ordered to follow the Quran. And the reason I'm going there is I need everybody to understand this conversation is not about self, self-proclaimed Muslims. This isn't about many people who were born in Islamic countries and forced to be a Muslim. Those who, if had a chance, would leave Islam and go on with their life as normal people. No, they are not within this conversation. We are literally talking about those who are devout enough to follow the Quran to the letter as ordered by Allah. To be clear, um, the Muslim that I just explained, Muslim category of people that I do talk about, those people are driving the dangers of Islamic conquest to us. For example, uh, those that you know as jihadis. Those who go blow themselves up, those who go kill non-Muslims, either driving a truck or a van to them, or shooting them, or bombing buildings, we've 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 seen sadly too many of them. So you all know when I say a jihadi or a terror attack, an Islamic terror attack, those are the ones who are driving the danger of Islamic conquest to us. Now. There's a different category. There's a category of those who don't commit jihad, who don't uh, follow the Quran to the letter, who don't even represent themselves as radical Muslims. Most people refer to them as moderates or reformers. I would like to make it clear on my personal experience and expertise, there is no such a thing as a moderate Muslim or a reforming of Islam. However, they do exist to make the world a safer place for Islam. What do I mean? Here's how it works. A Muslim who's reading the Quran and is hoping for a spot in heaven of Allah, the creator of Islam, will go and commit a jihad. So, 
Islam just slapped us non-Muslims in the face with one hand. Then another Muslim comes out and gives us a hug and sympathize with our pain, saying, I'm so sorry for what happened to you and condone radical Islam. And this person was not a true Muslim and this person had nothing to do with Islam. So the cherry picking moderate slash reformer slash whatever they call themselves makes the world a safer place for existence of Islam because the confusion that was just created is enough space and enough safety for Islam to continue on rotating and doing what needs to be done, which is conquering. Now, let me prove my point of why this cherry picking cannot happen. Why reforming cannot happen. Let's open the Quran together. Let's go to chapter 2, verse 11. Chapter 2, verse 11 says, And when it is said to them, Do not cause corruption on the earth, they will say, we are but reformers. Allah taught about possibility of someone claiming to be a Muslim who will try to reform Islam 1400 years ago. So Allah sent down a verse on chapter 2, verse 11, getting ahead of them saying, those who try to reform Islam are creating corruption on earth. They are not considered Muslims within Quran under Sharia in eyes of Allah itself. However, they are creating enough confusion within Western civilization. Let me tell you why I say Western civilization, because we need to always exclude Islamic countries from the conversation reason. In Islamic countries, there is no talk of reform. There is no talk of moderate, because if there is, government will arrest you, put you in prison and hang you and kill you. So, we are just left with Western civilization where Islamic ruling is not the constitution of the country. So we have these two categories, playing with our minds and using and abusing our lack of education on the subject of Islam as a religion of peace to get to the finish line, which is the Islamic conquer please go to our website, americantruthproject.org and subscribe for free because we want to make sure when it comes to the time that we are censored from all social media, we can still reach you.